What up, you nerds? Fallout here, and we finally got a huge info blast about Season 14 of Destiny 2, official name, Season of the Splicer. Bungie dropped a trailer on YouTube, updated their Twitter header art, and updated their website with a buttload of new information, which I'm going to walk all of you through right now. Do me a favor and gently caress that like button if you're looking for a free and easy way to say thank you and support my channel. Here's the deal, the Vex are back on their BS and have plunged the last city into an endless night. The sun has officially gone bye-bye and Ikora Ray reveals that Mithrax, a friendly fallen that we've worked with before, might have key information to help us figure out how to put a stop to the Vex. Y'all remember Mithrax, right? Helpful fallen from the Zero Hour mission? Lot of arms, cool guy? Doesn't matter, moving on. On Bungie.net, we're told that the helm area at the tower is getting an upgrade. The Vanguard will harness new splicer tech. I'm guessing that means that everything in the helm will be updated to reflect our new missions and whatnot in Season 14, hopefully including new gear and loot from upgraded Umbral Engrams. The new match made activity in Season of the Splicer is a six player activity called Override. Fire teams will use Splicer tech to hack into the Vex network to uncover their secrets, steal their code, and use their power against them. From the Bungie.net promo picture, we can very clearly see a Vex champion, meaning we can expect to deal with champions in Override. I'm kind of hoping that means it'll actually be a tough and challenging activity. The trailer footage looks kind of neat. Osiris mentioned finding your own way once inside the Vex network. I'm wondering if that means the activity won't be tremendously linear, maybe even a jumping puzzle of some kind once inside the network? Who knows? In addition to a new six player activity, we got a new weekly pinnacle mission. Expunge. From bingo.gov, each week, Guardians will uncover new vulnerabilities within the Vex network and use splicer keys to infiltrate and collapse it from within. Hopefully, we get a few new story elements to go along with those missions that are as captivating as all that new crap with Crow was in Season 13. Armor Synth is finally coming in Season 14, but for the most part, many of us who keep up with reading the weekly TWAB knew about that already. Definitely great that we'll finally be able to change our appearance and look how we want to look, but uh, with some limitations, as you you might know already. If you want to learn more about that, I recommend going back and reading the April 22nd TWAB on Bungie that really fleshed out all the info behind Transmog. We get a very quick look at the revamped Vault of Glass raid, and to be honest, looks pretty much exactly how I expected it to. Guardians are dropped into a familiar location on Venus, the door to the vault opens up, and that's all we got. They aren't being shy about the IRL rewards though. Shocker. From bongo.edu, we've got more IRL loot on the table from fire teams able to complete the new VOG raid. We've got a raid jacket, which I won't lie, I kind of like the inside lining of, very vexy. A crazy looking ring and the brand new Fatebreaker seal. And of course, it wouldn't be a brand new trailer day without new in-game loot and new exotics. The new season pass exotic, aka the weapon you'll be able to break out of the season pass immediately if you drop money on it, is called the Cryosthesia 77K. Here's what we know about it so far. It appears to be a sidearm. The Guardian in the trailer gets two Vex kills, reloads the weapon very dramatically, then the first bullet out of that new mag completely freezes the enemy in place. I'm pretty sure this is the first footage we've seen of a stasis primary weapon. Just to really drive home the point that yeah, it is a stasis weapon freezing the enemy, not the Guardian. The Guardian finishes off the Vex by chucking a solar titan hammer at it, confirming that yeah, he ain't a behemoth titan. A lot of people on Twitter and Reddit, as predicted, are complaining about the potential power of a primary stasis weapon, even though we pretty much know next to Dick about how the perk actually work. Yeah, I definitely can see that it might be powerful AF on paper, but I'ma hold back full gamer rant mode until I learn more about how it actually works in game. Even though it wasn't shown in the trailer, we've also got new exotic armor up on Bungie's website, one new piece for each class right now. Hunters have something called the Star Eater Scales, allows hunters to feast upon orbs of power, charging their super more quickly and making it more potent. Based on that description alone, I'm guessing that picking up orbs will net you more super energy overall with the Star Eater, and that when you ultimately pop your super, it'll either do more damage or potentially last longer. The new Titan exotic is called the Path of Burning Steps, converts solar eliminations into increased weapon damage, and makes Titans more difficult to lock down with stasis. Now goddamn, 
That is interesting. No word yet on the exact details. Will Titan players be able to thaw out of being frozen quicker? Will they be able to shrug off being slowed quicker? Will it work in PvP? And do you need to get a solar kill in order to shake off stasis easier? Or is that second part of the exotic armor always turned on? Either way, definitely looking forward to trying out those pants on day one. A Warlock exotic armor are the boots the Assembler condense a Warlock's healing or empowering rift into projectiles that seek out their allies to bless them with no Noble benefits. I'm guessing the keyword there, noble, being on par with the benefits given by the noble rounds from the Lumina hand cannon. Not gonna lie, if that is the case, that sounds really awesome, and depending on how accurate those projectiles are and how strong the noble benefits are, I'm absolutely gonna be rocking those boots in PvP. We also get a look at some of the new legendary weapons coming in Season 14. Apparently they're getting over 30 new and reprised legendary weapons, which all look very Vex-inspired. No word yet on what any of these guns are or do, but I'll keep you posted. If you hop on over to the Bungie website, we're also able to see the entire Season 14 pass rewards right now. The new Season Armor set looks really Fallen-esque, and I kinda love it. Hunters naturally look really dope, but Warlocks look surprisingly good for once, and the Titan armor looking like their mother made it for them for the upcoming school play. Last but definitely not least, we have the entire new Season 14 roadmap completely laid out. May 11th, we get a ton of new stuff right out of the gate. The intro mission, armor synth, new aspect quests, by the way, and override on Europa. Right away on May 14th, the first weekend of the new season, Trials will be open to play, and Iron Banner will be coming the following week, week two of the new season on May 18th. As we already know, Vault of Glass launches on May 22nd. For more info about that, including info on the world's first race, which I will be participating in, check out the April 29th TWAB. Vault of Glass raid challenges begin on June 15th, and Solstice of Heroes begins on July 6th. There's more on the calendar, but those are the events that kind of leaped out at me right away. Way. Anyway, as you can imagine, that's all pretty much the tip of the iceberg. We are officially one week away from Season of the Splicer as of today, and I'm sure more info will be rolling in shortly. Be sure to ring that notification bell and subscribe to make sure you don't miss any new content on the channel, and be sure to check out my Twitch channel as well to catch me when I stream live. I will now play the entire Season 14 trailer unedited from start to finish. Do the like thing, do the comment thing, do the subscribe thing. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. This morning, for the first time in humanity's long and storied history, the sun did not rise. It's a Vex simulation that has plunged the city into an endless night. Osiris and I could only think of one we might turn to. Mithrax, he claims to be among the last sacred splicers. Those with the power to commune with machines. Find him, Guardian. Before the Vex do. We must splice an entrance to the Vex network. I can guide you, but I cannot follow.